Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I partnered with Her Given Hair to show you how I detangle my kinky 4B4C hair extension so that I don't have excess shedding. This is a challenge that some of you have faced, so I hope my video answers all of your questions. I'm starting with shampooing my hair and I'm working down in small sections so that I can wash my hair but not scrub it and cause tangles. Also, I'm rinsing going downward, making sure I'm very gentle on the hairline because there are single strand knots there and I don't want to disturb the hair and cause balding in my wig. Next, I am moving right along to conditioning my hair, starting on the ends, working my way up, but making sure not to touch any of the wefts underneath because Hair product on the wefts that's not rinsed out thoroughly can cause shedding and there I have just a little bit of shedding and I'm going to wait five minutes until I'm ready to rinse out my conditioner. You don't have to thoroughly rinse out your conditioner, you can definitely detangle with it in there but I'm just gonna rinse out because it's the right thing to do. And that's the inside of my wig cap. I'm gonna flip it over, let it dry for about half an hour before I start detangling. And inside the cap, the knots do come bleached and I do also have this Swiss transparent lace. I'm gonna show you guys a close up when I actually cut the lace, but that's what it looks like underneath. And this is what it looks like on top and wet. I'm going to use some leave-in conditioner by Giovanni. I got it for free guys in like some magazine thing. They mailed me some and it's pretty good actually. I've never used it on my natural hair, but it's great on the wigs. And I'm going to go ahead and pat my wig dry because it still has a few wet spots. I only let it dry for about half an hour or so before I put my leave-in conditioner. I need it to be slightly damp, not wet wet. Apply the leave-in conditioner all over. You notice I didn't use a lot of product because it's unnecessary and it's going to cause shedding. A lot of stuff causes shedding. Just a little bit goes a long way. You don't want to be wasteful anyway. I'm making sure I define my part and why did I have to stab the wig so hard? I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and stab it at the bottom too. A little bit of oil, just a few drops to kind of seal everything in and give me some extra slips so that it's easy for me to comb the hair, finger detangle and all of that. So I'm going to show you guys the two ways that I detangle and the first time I receive a wig I detangle both ways and after a while I kind of do my own thing or whatever I feel is necessary. Your wig will tell you what you need to do at any given time, trust me. I am sectioning my hair off and making sure it's a lot easier for me to work. So five, six sections. And of course, one of my hair clips broke because something always has to break. Five or six sections are ideal, but when working to detangle, work in very small sections so that you can easily finger detangle first and separate the hair because it is processed to be like this, so you don't want that super wiggy look. You want to separate and fluff that hair. You guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you've got like a whole bunch of strands together that are clumped and I'm working through and I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a Bantu knot to let it stretch out so that I can comb it later on. Take your time Bantu knotting your hair. Make sure the Bantu knots are not too tight. Not like it matters here because this is a wig and I'm working on wet, so that probably won't affect it too much, but it's just easier on you and your arms, so go ahead and move right along. Finger detangle slowly work the product through, make sure it's nice and stretched out, put your hair in Bantu knots, and move along. That's basically all I'm doing. This is so much easier to do on my natural hair, guys, and this is exactly what I do on my natural hair. So again, finger detangle, take your time with that, and that's going to make sure you get as fluffy hair as possible and this is the hairline so we have to be very careful here because you have like single tied knots here and it's very easy to damage the hair and make your hairline bald these are not cheap wigs so if you do that you're gonna want your money you're gonna have 
feelings that you've never felt before and we just don't want you in your feelings guys so make sure you're very careful along the hairline because it's just a little bit more delicate an area think about how you'd be with your own natural hair you wouldn't be very rough there so whatever you do with your own hair do it with your wig and you will be very happy because kinky curly hair is a little bit more challenging or a lot more challenging than straight hair so after finger detangling again I'm making sure I stretch my hair out a little bit and I'm going to put my hair in a bantu knot and put it up that is all as far as stretching my hair out prior to combing it usually I wait half an hour to go ahead and comb my hair but I won't this time what I'm going to do though is cut my transparent lace and you can see here it's barely visible even with the shadows and I'm going to go ahead and remove my first Bantu knot and you can see it's stretched quite a bit since I started I'm combing at the ends and working my way up to the weft making sure I get very close to the weft because I want this thoroughly detangled and it just combs easily look how much shedding there was there I'm gonna keep combing working slowly that's the objective and my hair is so much easier to comb it combs like butter I'm not facing too many challenges if you were to wash your hair and then start brushing it by now you would have lost at least an armful of hair armful fistful of hair and this is what we're looking like nice and fluffy the shrinkage will start setting in in a little bit but it won't be too much and the wig is combed this is the shedding from finger detangling the first time and this is the shedding from combing my hair usually my shedding is worst on day one those are the two of them together because on day one you have highly processed hair that's coming to you and you have to just kind of work a little bit extra hard on it that's how all curly hair it is it just comes really processed but that's the inside of my wig again and I have an adjustable elastic band right there let's put this wig on it is so easy guys so easy in the back I'm putting the band and I'm pulling the wig back making sure the comb goes under the band to secure nicely and the wig is not gonna go anywhere I'm gonna come forward and pull my wig forward so that it can sit beautifully today I'm not gonna use any product on my hairline I just feel like it's a kinky wig who's really gonna see anything nobody literally nobody but if I were to straighten this hair or put curlers in this hair then I'll use got to be glued but wearing it in its natural state I just don't think it's necessary at all which brings me to another point guys if you want me to do something different with this hair let me know but right now I'm gonna go ahead and fix the parts so you can see that my lace looks good just in case someone sees it even though they probably won't just a little bit of powder goes a long way with this and if you want to make your wig look bigger you don't have to comb it after it dries just go ahead and separate and fluff and the wig is going to grow it's gonna be like super voluminous and very pretty very Angela Davis like so you guys need to let me know what you think of this wig I feel like I don't have to do anything with it once it's detangled it looks good I just have to fluff it a little bit so let's do the turnaround one more time and I mean guys it looks good I'm glad I did natural makeup for this because it definitely is a natural wig that suits natural makeup I think I'll wear it on vacation at least once this year because I do enjoy wearing my natural hair on vacation so this will also be cute for me last time twirling around I promise and I need to show you guys one of my old wigs because you guys have asked me about that it is by her given hair also for b4c the first one I ever got and I did give you guys an update a year later so definitely check out those videos so you can see the hair still had volume after a year because this is what I do to maintain density and prevent breakage on my natural hair and my extensions 
I never used to but I do now and it's such a huge help so thank you so much for watching as always you guys thank you Herkiven here for sponsoring this video take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one bye